see my people my hair has grown overnight so <clears throat> tonight i want to introduce myself diana chaff fresh beautiful you understand brown lip gloss the skin is nice you understand i'm alive i'm alive i am alive thank you jesus anyways mamai i have been running around all day today i brought my mom with me we've been on the road from since um about 11 o'clock this morning it's my day off non-stop running around la je pour dépenser mama so anyway i got myself prettier and prettier you understand as a woman you got to go treat yourself you understand so so my g esta milando african girl that's my girl thank you very much my sister now you are doing a good job now hey 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 my sister <coughs> mom my i have the cold so i better calm down but i got to give you the african version um uh the accent So Miss Re Miss Miss Esther Milando is the one who does my hair. And I know that chick, she's my sister from Africa. And my pe people, I have a very important video to say to talk. I went to the hair salon today and I had to deal with an African lady. I put her under the bus. because she was trying to fight my sister et qui pas te veut le faire là hein pour ça faire chiver so stay tuned stay tuned moi mais en bas boss là stay tuned hi ani anyway and continue so miss esther milando my african great sister my sister i have been doing my hair um with you for by 5 years now I have to say my sister you are doing a good job now. You are doing a good job and I always give you tip now. Hey! Hey! <laughs> my sister, you are doing a good job in hair styling. Bo. So I would like to thank you Esther Milandu. Your hands are blessed and there's no there's no um no um ma um no eh what they said there there's no show it's natural natural she ve mama and this chick esther milando she put that where it's supposed to be there's no regret when that lady esther milando do your hair you pasho it's not doesn't show she saw it properly bo So that's my girl. She's a good, she's the best. And I'm the type of girl when I'm dealing with you in a spa, in a hairdresser, you treat me well and I come back and I give I tip you good. If you fuck around with my hair, my nails, my feet, I'm not coming back. And let me tell you something here. You have to do me perfect in that the same time. There's no mistake when it's come to money because I work very hard for my money and you better fix me good. Bo. So anyways, Miss Reese, Miss Esther Milando, I am trying to send a word out there for all my girls to go out to you. I'm going to send all my girls out to you because badu but puzo we, badu but So, wait. There is no walls, nothing in my hair and it looks like it's my hair. Right? Which you know. I like I'm the type of woman I don't like to just stay with just one thing. I have mood swings. Today I want today I want natural, tomorrow I want extension, 
Today I want vodka. Tomorrow I want a beer. To the next day I want duos. The next day I want um Hennessy. You check what I'm saying? That's my level. So as a woman, I dare to treat myself to what the hell I want, and I don't want no man to tell me what to do and what to not to do, what to get with that body of mine. Because women got needs and their desires. Go for it. But now, let's go back to the video, my people. So I went to my hair, hair salon today. I got my hair done, right? And that video I'm about to talk about is about our people, our black people that refuse to support each other in a business. Na mezo babasla. Because I'm from other hair salon sa, I'm going go de zagwe me I had a big, big fight with her because I'm a very straightforward woman. I did not disrespect her, but I put her under the bus. And I'll explain every single thing what was said and, and, what I, and what I said to her. I couldn't just sit down and keep quiet. I had to stop that. I had to stop her. I had to stop her. Because you know why I had to stop her? Because I feel intimidated by some of our black people. We hold a business instead of they try to pay you what you ask for the job. They're asking you, they're asking you, um... Low, um, lower the price for them and, and, oh, they don't want to pay you what your, your job is, what your, what the business is worth or what your things are worth. But when it's come to a white person or when it's come to another Chinese or whatever, they are ready to pay in full. My pia choy, my pia choy. My phone is getting off. My people, let me quickly get my charger. Don't hang up. Many story to tell. Mwene from San Babosla. One second. Zola, bamu ma na chat sa bamu ma. Amba. Give me just one second. Bam footage sad the cough for no pee chat. One second. So okay, I think it's good like that. Yes. Anyways, my people. Anyway, while I was at the hair salon to getting getting my hair done. This African lady came and she was so demanding, I tell you. And most, most people who are demanding, they don't want to pay. Your pavle pay. And my black sister, my black sister, I have, with, I have been doing my hair with my black sister for about five years. And doing hair is a long time, especially braiding. That's four hours to five hours to braid hair. So anyway, my people, that's right, support your own. Yes, yes, you have to support your black people. If the black people is having a business, you have to support that person. Don't look for, oh, discount. Don't disrespect your own black people, when they open a business for you to settle them with cheap. My people, it happens to me. I am telling you right now, when that woman talked to my sister, right, I had to open my big mouth. Anyway, let me tell you what happened. And I shut that lady off. I want to speak in English, 
But at the same time, it is so funny in Creole. But I'll, I'll mix it up. Anyway. Anyway. My sister Esther Milandu was, was in my hair. She was getting my hair done. So that African lady came. She came out of nowhere. I don't know if she had an appointment or not. Right? So... The other lady, the other sister, was doing somebody else's hair braiding. And from since one o'clock I went there, that lady was doing a four-hour job on somebody else's hair. She has not even had breakfast yet or lunch, for that matter. But she's been working and she has kids. She has a little baby, which I was taking care of the little princess for her. Everybody's struggling. So anyway, anyway... That lady came, my people. She came in. Oh, I have to go to a wedding. Ready, ready, ready. I have to go to a wedding and so on. Um, so um, what time can I come in? Which is okay to ask that and so on. What time can I come in? Um, and and what time can you finish my hair? And she's very demanding. She wants the small braids. That taking four to five hours braiding. Now head up. I listen, I didn't say nothing, but already I'm sensing a bad vibes. Ekipa mimbele koa, pa mimbele koa. Isa manom epi mwende, iteka jikari bab. Kwele tafi jitifia. I'm caught it. Anyway, so, this lady, she came in, she came in, people are working like she expect things right away. But at the same time, me as a businesswoman mindset in business, if you want things done right away, ASAP, you have to put extra money for your shit to get done right away. That's how I think about it. It's like when you want a passport. You want an emergency passport, you got to pay more money for that, yeah? So it's the same thing with business. We're running business here, yeah? Anyway, let's go back to her. Anyway, my sister that was doing the braids, she, my sister was doing the braids for about four hours. She had already done one lady hair. It's already one o'clock. My sister went to grab a snack upstairs to eat something. That lady, the one that I tell you, that one, the demanding bitch. Sorry for calling them bitch. Me. Anyway, says I oh yeah, when they not behaving. Anyway, so, my sister went upstairs to have a little drink, have a lunch, just a few hours, and then they're going to tackle her for another four hours with her braids, yeah? Which that's proper, right? So she said, when I heard the lady said, said to the girl, oh, you cannot have food. Oh, you cannot have food. You can't have things sweet. Come do my hair. Oh, pay me, me, me. I didn't say a word because that's none of my concern. That's none of my business. I'll tell you when I attack her, eh? Because you know why I had to put, I had to jump in? Because I'm sick and tired of seeing black people. They, she, she did not, she did not want to, they're charging her. They, the girl said to her, it's box braids like my daughter has. And normally this is 150 Canadian dollars. And they are charging 120. You know, from all the demanding shit the lady is putting out there. Don't eat this. Don't do that. Do my hair. I have to go to a wedding. I have to go. You know the bitch ugly woman did not even want to pay. She did not even want to pay my sister 120 dollars. For the damn hair box braid. My hair, I spent $60 to put, to fix my hair just the way it is now. And I tip my girl $5 every single time. That's class. No complaint. You do my hair, I pay you what you tell me. You tell me as my black sister, I support you. My people, anyway... Anyway, so when it was her turn, her turn, they show her the bridge, 
She's debating, debating, debating. Ah, uh, from Saka Kuya, when was Moka Kuya, when Jewisa, when I was told Mobile, Mobile Zola Jewisa. A lot of video, a lot of video, a Maui Kunfun, Maui Kunfun. Anyway, you can put it in a message, Rabame Sound. Bon, Manta Puse Munsa. Naidu kisa juu isa femwe ki pavle pemwe 149 to avai ba pou etawas 300 good pa jou an pale an pale toujou an pale anyway my people anyway she started um when they started showing her the different braids she wanted small small and the smaller you do braids the longer it takes right our women supposed to know that 4 hours 5 hours and standing, my my girl has to stand and do that, and she has a baby baby to take care of. And they give her 120 to do her hair, plus including the hair she's buying, 120. And I had a lady debating, oh, how come you charging so expensive? How come you charging this and that? So y'all black people, y'all think about since white people are already treating us like slaves, so I gotta stand up. To you to do your damn hair, you don't wanna pay me. And then, when you see Chinese white people have your shit, have their shit selling, make up to buy Zoka game, Missy bag, I keep on him. That's not even called for in cash. Big money you're paying supporting white people shit. And I see that girl, and this is my girl, the girl that does my hair. You don't fuck around with my friend like that. She's a good working woman. She says she does good stuff. She's professional. Pay her what she deserves, bitch. Pay her. Pay her. So anyway, when I saw that since I couldn't sit down and be quiet. I said, my lady, my lady, seriously, if you want beauty, you pay for beauty. And seriously, I am. That's none of my business. I'm not talking about you, but this is my sister here. Yeah? And she did said about 150, but she give you 120 including the hair. You have to pay her, support your sister, my, my lady. You have to support your sister. Oh, Monsieur! Sakita di moi di from Lansa. She's African, eh? She's African. I pe voodoo me sivle na me dwet ma tu modai ek na voe eko i soti ya. Voodoo pa tu ale me. Fire. Anyway. So the bitch said to me, she said to me, um, oh, um, who's talking to you? Um, 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 that's none of your concern, mind your own business. I said, yes, it is my business because we all sit in here as black women and this is a hair salon and my, and my sister is doing my hair. So I have rights to hair what's going on because we are sisters and we have to support each other. And from the time you step up in that hair salon, you have you look like somebody that is cheap. You want beauty, you don't wanna pay for it. But my black sisters are not working for you for free or cheap. So step out, back up, back up. And I said, I am very furious with black women like y'all. Y'all refuse, refuse to support your black people. And I have problem with y'all. Every single time a black person is trying to open a business, support, support, no discount, no discount. Don't treat me like your slave. The same shit I went through, you are trying to bring it in my cycle, support me, support her. She said one fee, 120 and tip again. And I said, I said to her, let me tell you something, it's freedom, it's freedom of speech. I did not disrespect you. It fits you, you wear it in your cunt. Wear it in your cone. Support my black sister. You want beauty, somebody's going to spend four hours in your hair and I'm going to spend a hundred dollars? Huh? And, and the fact that she demanded the girl could not even eat something, she got to go to wedding. No, that's abuse. I had to share. I had to, I had to stand up. I had to say something. I had to say something. Our, some of our black people have to stop. We have to support each other. We hold our business. We buy from our people. Buy from our people. That's how we start. With black people in community. In the whole of, of the black people.
even society. Right? Stand up for that. Work on it. Fight to do it. So we can get somewhere in life. Don't you see the way the world, the world is going? So, when can we start that? We can do it, my people. Anyway, I went to the liquor store. I went, I bought a bottle of scotch today. I bought my drinks. I always have my wine in my house. And I saw, I felt compassion on a young boy.